Grand Rising family, welcome to your Tuesday the 20th, the True Love Journey daily message. How is everyone feeling post full moon? Woke up feeling a little full moon hungover today. Uh, knocked me out early last night. Um, I'm going to use the moon decks still since we're still in this beautiful energy. This is a very intense energy that we're in and it's still here. <laughs> so... Um, Yes, I intended on doing the reading last night to be up at five for it to be up at five in the morning, but again, I was knocked off my feet. So, all right, family, let's just get started. I want to thank everyone for being here, of course. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, donating to the channel, sending debts, and of course, scheduling personal readings with me. The information will be in the description box below on my website. Thank you to everyone that contributes to our community. All right, family, let's get started here with the Divine Masculine's energy for Tuesday, the 20th. Split the deck here. We have abundance. Well, that's nice. It looks to me like they're raising their vibration to the vibration of abundance and gratitude, okay? So abundance could be prosperity or it could be pretty much, you know, anything. They're receiving abundance of love, okay? Um, it could be help even. All right, so let's see here. Show me the divine masculine energy. So they're aligning to the frequency of abundance. We have patience here. Being guided to have patience with their process. Patience with their journey and self-love. Nice. <laughs> All right. So show me the divine masculine's energy for Tuesday. Okay. We have fear. First card out that came out here okay so in the middle of all that beautiful energy here is the underlying energy right what's going on beneath the surface here with them okay and um they're in the process of creation right now they're in creation energy and they're self-reflection self-reflecting so fear fear comes up or in the midst of change um you know going through a transition right so I guess we're going to get in more into it and see what else wants to be revealed about this fear that's coming up for this masculine. Arch so again, let's send Archangel Michael to them, right? So help them to alleviate their fear and ground their energy. Every time we go through a transition or tower moment or a period of growth and we're being, you know, ripped out of our comfort zone. Uh, or stretched out of our comfort zone or pushed out of our comfort zone. This is a natural human you know, uh, it's uh, human nature, right? For us to, for our ego to kick and scream with fear. Fear is a very low vibration. It's at the bottom of the omega consciousness scale. But again, this person, I'm seeing the cage, the bird cage here. This person is being broken free out of something here, okay? And um, yeah, I'm getting that. So that's why they're, Again, they could be their whole world could be falling apart. Let's get one here. We'll find out what's going on here as we continue on. Let's see here with the divine feminine for Tuesday the twentieth. I am going at the end get a uh, guidance from the quantum oracle. Okay, as well. Um, for each, show me the divine feminine's energy spirit, please. For Tuesday the twentieth, we have patience for the divine feminine as well. There's some kind of portal. Uh, opening up here a vortex <laughs> so it looks to me like a path uh, uh, you know a portal is opening up interesting we're holding a red balloon that usually means letting go letting go of something uh, we have balance okay for the divine femme so that's still here we talked about balance in yesterday's reading so balancing out spirituality and practicality creating a a, a routine for yourself would be to balance out, you know, work, life, play, family, love, health, uh, to come into a, a better balance. So create like a, a morning routine schedule, an afternoon or an evening for yourself. Okay. So if you don't have, you know, a, a, a job that, that, you know, your schedule, it, it's kind of like up and down. There's something you could be doing too much of. That needs moderation and patience as well. Trust. Stepping into your power. There's the full moon energy here. Trusting in your power, in your gifts, in your abilities here as well. You're creating magic. 
Okay, so whatever ritual you did, full moon ritual or whatever, you know, um, you're putting out there to the universe when it comes to your intentions, uh, as you step in into your sorceress energy, as you step in into your power here, trust and have faith and patience that every that you are close to reaching your goal, that everything's going to come into fruition here, okay? It's important that you come into a good balance within yourself, um, the yin and the yang, the masculine, the feminine, come into harmony, center yourself, ground your energy. I did spend some time in nature yesterday um, to help you here, okay? So th this could come in. So you can come into alignment. So you can come into alignment. Oh, let me move all this out of the way. Um, with, with your intention for yourself, with your goal. Balance is important for alignment. All right, so let's see here the divine masculine's energy. Split the deck. Your hard work is paying off. There's Saturn. There's Capricorn energy there. I, I saw a diamond in my mind's eye. So feeling the, the, the pressure of becoming the diamond. All right. Show me the Divine Masculine's energy spirit. For Tuesday, the 20th. On a Tuesday. Show me the Divine Masculine's energy. Okay. Your dreams need a practical plan. So again, they're being guided to Taurus energy, second house, to ground their energy as well, okay? And communication is key here. They're reaching some kind of a conclusion. It feels like um, September, the full moon in Pisces is an eclipse. That's what it is. Uh, I think it's on the 18th. I'm not exactly sure. I have to look. But it feels like they're reaching that conclusion so september around that time frame fall could be significant here okay this full moon eclipse is helping this person here to um reach a conclusion and 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 whatever they're experiencing and going through right now okay so the eclipse is eclipsing things out helping this person to release a lot so they are being guided to create some kind of a practical plan for themselves okay that 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 means grounding your energy, okay? Coming back to your physical body, coming back to earth if they are ascending and going through a spiritual awakening, okay? Because this fear is telling me they're ungrounded, their root chakra uh, needs some work, right? The root chakra is out of balance or blocked because fear comes from the root, not being, not being, having both of your feet planted on the ground, Okay, um, this person needs to work with Archangel Michael, call Archangel Michael and do some root chakra work as well, because fear comes from that, okay? So, um, especially I'm seeing this Taurus energy, this uh, earth energy here, this person has some dreams, but they're, they're kind of, uh, I'm seeing somebody running in circles, can I have one for the divine feminine? You know, lost, not needing to find their way. Take to, so that they can take that next step and facing their fears. It could be, they could be going through a career transition as well. Okay. Meaning coming out of uh, the matrix, I heard. And uh, for some of them, that's what I feel. No longer is feeling satisfied with the status quo. No longer satisfied it's the ego stuff, right? Not fulfilling to this person anymore. They have bigger dreams. They're again, they're being stretched out of their comfort zone so that they can come out of settling energy, right? Settling energy. Can I have one for the divine feminine? So the balance is still here. So we're still working on this divine feminine or being guided to and having patience with ourselves. I'm getting, I'm getting, getting things done in the material world. Okay. Like your laundry, perhaps. <laughs> Show me here the divine feminine's energy. Yeah. You're closing out a, a Saturn here. It's showing up again, Capricorn energy. You're closing out a huge cycle, a healing cycle. Okay. We're always going just like the moon. We are always going through cycles, different cycles. Okay. And we have uh look super moon. So we're still very much in this energy. This was yesterday, right? But it's still here. We're still in this energy. The full moon affects us days before, days after, okay? So if you haven't done your full moon rituals, you haven't done your full moon meditations, it's not too late. <laughs> so you can still write down all the things you're releasing, meditate on it, 
right? Um, so what's under that? Stepping out of your comfort. Yeah, you're also being stretched out of your comfort zone here, okay? Whatever that means for you. Um, all right, so let's go. Let's see here what else. Here for the Divine Masculine. Show me the Divine Masculine's energy. Yeah, there's a there's a, a, a call in here, a huge wake-up call. Uh, the angels is trying to help this person. They're facing judgment. Okay, the angels trying to help this person to release a lot, um, to make you know decisions. The angels, the angels do love you know, and and the universe loves a decisive mind, right? They're being decisive here when it comes to what you want. It's like the, if you can't really you know receive what you want if you don't know what you want you got to ask the universe and stay clear with it hold that vision you know and um hold that intention right and not let anything cause you to waver on that and create any kind of self-doubt so this person here is going through you know a huge awakening a renewal process okay they're feeling a bit homesick as well as they're feeling a bit losing their old identity feeling lost again it feels like what's going to help this person here to um what's going to help this person here to uh, i'm so sorry Can, i'm so sorry give me one second hello I'm yeah i'm doing a reading can i call you back okay bye All right, sorry about that. Um, I had I had to get that because, you know, Mercury is in retrograde, and when somebody that doesn't hardly call you calls you <laughs> at this time, it's like, well, did something happen? <laughs> you know, um, and especially if it's one of your children. Um, sorry about that, family, for that interruption. Uh, we have here. So making a, for, forgiving oneself, okay, forgiving oneself for needing to forgive, to release themselves from any kind of karma, okay? The daily choices I make now, again, needing to make a, a clear decision and stick to it on what you want. If you don't know what you want, you don't know what to ask for. I, um, I make the, the daily choices I make now align me with my life's purpose, okay? So they're doing a self-evaluation, a review of the past and needing the angels are helping this person to forgive themselves and forgive others to release judgment on themselves as well as this person has some dreams. OK, but they need to be assertive. They need to, you know, face the challenges, stand up, have the courage and take action. Grounding their energy is going to be really important. They're, this person's head is in the clouds. Lots of dreams. Your dreams need a practical plan. Needing to make a clear decision here. And uh, the angels is trying to help and clear the way for this person. There's a huge uh, uh, wake-up call. Uh, uh, an ego death, I heard. A removal of one's uh, materialism, superficiality, things like that. Okay, There's an ascension that this person is going through. Tell me more here. This is a card of awakening. Redemption, resurrection, and rebirth. Tell me more for this divine masculine. My my intuition told me to answer to see it for my own peace of mind, because I know this reading is going to go, is going to go a, a little while here, you know, and, and I didn't know if my daughter, um, if, cause she's out and about, I don't know if something happened or cause she doesn't really call. She tends to text. So show me here spirit. So I, I felt really called to answer. So I apologize for that interruption. Show me here, Spirit, for uh, the Divine Masculine's energy for Tuesday. The higher font. Their belief systems I'm getting here. Okay. It's changing as well. I choose which traditions I embrace and how I do it. 
So let's get more. This could also be the institution of marriage, their values, okay? This is all the things that they're reviewing in judgment, their religious beliefs. Again, they could be also gaining a lot of wisdom, learning, seeking out spiritual healers and teachers, okay? It feels like this person doesn't want to conform anymore. They could be being guided to, to, to you know, go back to school for some of them. So that they can align with this dream of theirs. Tell me more for this divine masculine. Yeah, Ace of Swords. They they are, again, going through some kind of huge... They're going through some kind of uh, huge spiritual awakening here, okay? With this Ace of Swords. Yep, and the moon coming out of illusion. They're seeing something very clear here, okay? In their situation. Again, a spiritual awakening can be very scary. <laughs> you know, if you've been through it. All right, that's when you start to see miracles and phenomenons and, uh, and, and your spirit guides. A lot of times people see their angels, you know, uh, see, see angel numbers and your old identity starts to be stripped from you. And you, you're like in this void. So... Tell me more. And it's like, there is a victory here. There's a new beginning for this person. This clarity that this person is getting is helping them to break free. Tell me more about this divine masculine. One more. We have, there's that practical plan. That's them focused and working on building, you know, a solid foundation for the, for themselves or rebuilding the solid foundation. Okay. One brick at a time, one day at a time, one step at a time, staying focused and staying committed it's like they're getting some kind of an idea, okay? Yeah, they're being guided to concentrate right now, to clear their mind, to ground their energy, okay? And uh, again, it feels like they're learning a lot of new things. It could be guided to take a course. It's like they have some new ideas here, new plans. They're getting some kind of a breakthrough, and again, it's it, it's a process when we work on ourselves, when we're building something new here, they could be getting a new job or going back to school, like I said, when it comes to their purpose. It, yeah, this this transition this is, is scary for this person. Can I have one on this uh, higher font? Spirit. If this has anything to do with you, you know, they, they are... It feels like this person doesn't really feel comfortable in coming forward unless they have a clear mind, unless they have the clarity, unless they feel more stable within themselves. Because this right here is an energy of self-mastery, becoming a professional at what you do, working really hard, commitment and dedication and devotion, okay? Staying focused. It's a Virgo energy. Can I have uh, clarify this higher font? Yes, family. Okay, we have uh, the Nine of Cups here. The Nine of Cups is a huge wish. Feeling fulfilled. Feeling more, at, I'm, I'm hearing feeling more at peace, okay? Overcoming this, Five of Cups. See, this person right here, their belief system is changing when it comes to loss. When it comes to, you know, I, I, I heard, uh, caught up in their emotions or sitting in this puddle of self-pity feels like whatever they're getting, whatever clarity, whatever understanding, whatever they're learning here is helping to lift their spirits up because this person here thinks that they lost everything or they're, they're experiencing this grief, this sadness, this despair, this abandonment, guilt, remorse, regret, um, you know, focusing on the negative emotions and isolation and loneliness. But if they were to turn around, they will see that there's two cups here standing behind them. There's two cups is the universe saying, all hope isn't lost. I have something better for you. There's a reason why God removed, God in the universe doesn't tend to remove things from you unless they're going to replace it with something way better. That's more in alignment with your frequency and your vibration. It feels like this person here went through an awakening and um, whatever situation they were tied to or connected to, whether it's career, friends, family, or karmic relationship, um, it wasn't, 
it's a it's an energy thing. It's not personal. It's a vibration thing. Okay. If when your vibration shifts and changes, okay, uh, it, you become you're no longer a match to the vibration of your old life, your old identity, and the people in your life. If these people are not waking up with you or ascending with you, it becomes a mismatch, and the universe removes it. God removes it because you're headed towards a you know you're on a different timeline. You're headed towards a different path. So, yeah, this person here was in a state of illusion before, okay? And uh, and now they're not. <laughs> so they, they have, you know, they've been waking up to what truly fulfills them, waking up to what their authenticity, to who they really are. And whoever's not on board with that, what doesn't accept them unconditionally for who they are, is being removed from them. Yeah, and yeah, grieve the loss, right? Especially if you've had long standing types of relationships where the universe is trying to teach this person that, you know, to release your attachments and your expectations. We're attached to nothing, connected to everything. Release your attachments, you know, to people, places, things, because nothing is yours. Nothing really belongs to you. It's God's. So it's like love without it, like real true love. It doesn't claim. It only allows and it gives. There's no attachment when it comes to love. If there's an attachment, that's not love. That's codependency, okay? Um, can I have one on this Ace of Swords for this Divine Masculine? Whatever they're learning here, yeah, they're getting enlightenment. They're going through a huge weight awakening here. Whatever they're learning here, and it's helping to, for them to become unstuck in their life. Whatever they're learning here, they're it's like they're, they're being they're feeding their soul. Okay. They remember we saw that abundance card earlier. That's what this is. This is abundance. Whatever they're learning is feeding their soul, which is, you know, fulfilling to them. Right. So they're, they're coming out of negativity and, um, and, and their confidence, right. The optimism with this nine of cups is, there's another, there's, a, there's so many spiritual cards here um, when it comes to the major arcanas, which is this Neptune energy, this Pisces energy here, receiving some kind of perspective shift. They have changed their perspective. They are changing their perspective. They're changing their mind, okay? When it comes to their belief systems, which the sword here, whatever, if, with this full moon brought in for this person, a clarity, epiphany, a breakthrough, and aha moment that helped to cut them down from this tree. It's time for a sacred pause, still in its grand perspective. So uh, it feels like they're coming out of this, okay, with because they received some kind of an enlightenment that helped them to see something from a different perspective. And now they're being cut down from this tree. This person was feeling stuck and trapped, confined, okay, limiting, uh, limited, uncertain here and lack of direction in their life they needed a, a release okay letting go again this person here uh has uh, received some kind of an enlightenment that has helped to break them free i'm getting with this nine of cups is somebody here that no that is really focusing on self con their own contentment their emotional fulfillment you know, um, self-love, no longer caring where anyone else thinks <laughs> here with this nine of cups. I don't care. I'm, I'm focusing on me. I'm focusing on myself. I'm filling my own cups. I'm giving to myself. This is beautiful. This is what they needed to do is to, you know, be a little selfish when it comes to not be people pleasing, setting boundaries and over giving in their life. Okay. Clarify, yeah, they had a t many tower moments to wake this person up. Uh, many, many tower moments. So yeah, this person is going through a huge awakening right now. Spiritual awakening. Can you clarify this eight of pentacles for this divine masculine? I got two. Wow, huge change. <laughs> Their luck is turning around for sure. Okay, that's because they took the time out to calm down their thoughts, 
to calm their mind down, to silence their thoughts, okay, to heal, to rest. And, and it's creating a huge change. This person here is finally surrendering the wheel, letting go, it's not micromanaging the universe. This is all divine orchestration here and divine timing for this person, right under the patience card, having patience as this person is on the wheel of fortune. It, you know, um, I'm getting with this healing energy, they're clearing their karma and it's turning things around for them as they are coming out of this five of cups energy. So the wheel of fortune is saying whatever you're working on here with this eight of pentacles is creating ab abundance for this person and prosperity. Good luck. Destiny is unfolding for this person. Okay. They have gone through a massive upheaval with the wheel of fortune, but they are riding the waves of life. Okay. Um, so mental rest, this person may, ha their health may have been affected. Okay. By this again, with the decisive moments in their life. Okay. Faded events taking place for this person. So I, 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 it's, 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 it's quite lovely. It's quite lovely to see this turnaround for this person. The universe put them on pause, put them on ice and said, you're going to, you're going to be here. You're going to be here. You're going to be stuck until you get what, you know, the mental clarity until you get the, the, the breakthrough to move you forward. Right. And it wasn't until this person went into silence and stillness here. It wasn't until they went into silence and stillness that they were able to receive, okay, the next step for them. And we have here doing a lot of, this person, a lot of solo energy here for this person. They're doing a lot of reflecting, a lot of reflecting, a lot of um, evaluation, okay, of their investments, uh, patiently waiting for their, you know, everything that they're putting a lot of time and energy and effort to come to fruition here for them. So, yeah. I like this. Uh, let me get, tell me more here about what's going on with this divine mass. So they're going through a lot of changes right now. They're coming out of this stuck energy. They focus right now on themselves. Okay. They're focused on their career, on their investments, on their mastering themselves, healing. If that's what they're doing, they're right now focusing on themselves. Okay. Nine of cups, um, eight of pentacles and, um, Again, just riding the wave, right? They're on the wheel of fortune. It's like they're maintaining their focus. They're maintaining this. They're working on maintaining this energy here, okay? Yeah, they're going through a karmic completion in their life. Doing what fulfills them, what lights them up. Tell me more about this divine, divine masculine energy here, spirit. They're going through a relationship change. Again, with the teaching and learning with this higher font, they're, they could, again, be going back to school. They're learning a lot so that they can teach, I heard. Filling their own cup, feeding their soul. So they're going through a huge relate. The, this right here, the wheel. Of, so it feels like this person is just trying to get them their life and themselves back on track, stabilizing their life. They're going through a change, relationship change. Clarify this relationship change for this divine masculine. They are trying to rest and relax here, feel the peace and quiet. It feels like they came out of something crazy. So they're trying to come back to center and gather themselves. Rest, rest, relax and rest before a fresh start. They're regrouping here and meditating. Planning for the future right now, okay? That's what they're doing. Thinking a lot. Trying to calm down, get some kind of peace of mind. Tell me about this relationship change for those of my masculine. Yeah. There are people that was left out in the cold. People that were abandoned here, okay? Um, mm -hmm. There was a lot of big changes here that took place for this person. This person came out of illusion and, um, and now they're moving on to karma waters. Okay. So yeah, it looks to me like this relationship changed for this person, you know, uh, may have something to do with money and finances may also have, uh, 
created a change, right? A temporary financial hardship for this person here, okay? Which is why, why they're focused more on their stability right now. Um, focusing on their dreams, what fulfills them, what is their wish, what makes them happy, okay? So this, uh, this, this person was in a relationship here that... They didn't feel good enough in or that this or with people that made them feel not worthy. Okay. Uh, there was a lot of um, negativity and um, feeling neglected, not having your needs met. No, there wasn't a lot of growth. Uh, this, this is somebody that they didn't feel that they had a lot of support in this relationship. Not people walking side by side. Okay holding each other's hand it's like uh two is better than one right that bible verse and um but and it's like when one person falls the other is there to to lift them up and this person didn't have that okay when they fell they got abandoned or vice versa okay when they started going through their awakening here they got abandoned okay uh so they they could have been with a gold digger or somebody that you know was with them because of what they had to provide or offer. And uh, so not for the for the right reasons, not for authentic reasons for some of them. They went through this relationship, made them go through a, a series of bad luck because it wasn't, it was karmic. It wasn't the right relationship for them. So yeah, so there is an ending here. People are out in the cold for this person. All right. And then we have teaching and learning and change. They're going through a, a huge change. So nice. So this person is focused on themselves right now, getting themselves back on track, getting their awakening, getting their enlightenment, while the divine feminine is closing out a cycle and coming back into balance. Honor these emotions that are coming up for you. Embrace them. Their first, go, you know, it feels like this person is first going within and figure out what they want for themselves and what fulfills them, okay? What makes me happy? Because it feels like this person may have uh, lost themselves a bit or their own identity when they were in, a, in all these other relationships or in another relationship or another commitment, okay? So it's like there's a finding oneself here. I need, I need time to heal. This person needs time alone to heal. And not have any distractions, okay, to focus on their stability, their security, and what they're learning, what they're mastering. Yeah, this is beautiful, you know. And once they have their peace, their inner peace, their harmony, their balance within, and they become whole within themselves, that's when they're going to feel strong enough, okay, to join join forces again. They're doing exactly what they're meant to do. They're guided to do here. Not jumping from one thing to the next, right? Taking the time to heal. And surrendering to the universe with this wheel of fortune. I've, I heard doing things by the book. Doing things by the book. So that, you know, I, I can turn my luck around here. All right, for the Divine Feminine. Show me the Divine Feminine's energy Tuesday. Justice. Nice. The universe balance again. The universe is helping you to balance things out here. Okay. To do, we have here seven of swords. Truth. Feels like the truth, especially with this justice card, is talking about truth and integrity and honest and being honest with oneself. Truth is being revealed. Here, okay, the universe is restoring the balance. I'm also getting moving with strategy, moving in silence. Yeah, sp spending a lot of time with yourself. Again, doing doing things uh, quietly, okay? It feels like it may be time here soon for you to come out of hermit mode. Okay, can I have one more for the Divine Feminine? Nine of Wands, some fatigue. Ongoing battle here that's coming to an end for you. This is the end of this tough cycle. 
okay, of the Nine of Wands, are you feeling tired, fatigued? That's where the balance is needed here. Rest, rest, have patience here with this process. What is this that what is this oh you got the eight of pentacles as well so keep you know this is a card of spiritual strength and perseverance as well okay resilience the nine of wands um but again uh, stop forcing or pushing or trying so hard i'm getting take a break to balance out your to come back into balance and harmony within your life um there's just um I heard don't force the door to open that isn't opening. Be in this receiving, this receptive energy and let the universe. There's magic to that, right? There's magic to being in feminine energy of receiving. Justice, clarify justice. Wow, interesting. You, there's Ace of Swords here and Eight of Pentacles. So you're mirroring each other right now. You got the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles as well for justice. They got the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. I'm here for the magic. Holy. So. Oh, okay. I'm wondering. Again, I feel like this person here could be thinking about. If this is, has anything to do with you. Could be thinking about. You know, again, making things right here with you with the justice, right? To communicate the answers that you that you're seeking are coming to you um this is connected to this i feel like this person here is again in meditation regrouping in the in the in this retreat energy resting and thinking about all the different ways right how that they want to build the trust from the bottom up to work on this to offer you you know to do the right thing here okay the card of strategy here. I'm, I'm feeling very strongly about the universe asking you to let go. Let go of the manifestation right here. Having patience, right? You you manifest it. You're in manifesting energy. Just trust and have patience. You can let go. Let go of it. I'm also getting for some of you guys, if this is doesn't have anything to do with this person and this is just you focusing on your work, on your studies, Keep going, okay? Uh, take action on your idea that you're getting when it comes to your work. It feels like you might even ha sign a new contract. You might get a new job. Uh, or you guys could be working on being self-employed here, okay? Yeah, something to do with money. Your money situation, if you're having any kind of hardship, that's turning around for you, okay? Feels like that's the balance here. The, you know, balancing out your resources, your finances. We have the nine of pentacles, the five, lots of pentacles here in your energy. So definitely a need to ground Capricorn energy, dedication and focus. This is the Saturn way, having patience. Saturn is the Lord of karma, discipline, hard work, accountability, responsibility. Okay. Also self-respect. Uh, Saturn does also tends to, to rule lack and scarcity. So there is a, a constant, you know, needing to, uh, a constant having to catch yourself or be aware whether or not you're thinking negative thoughts when it comes to your abundance and your finances. Looks like that's turning around here for you. The universe is helping you to bring your finances back into balance so you can be free and independent, nine of pentacles, focusing a lot on that, okay? Equal, give, and receive. The balance of equal, give, and receive is really important right now for you. It's like it feels like you're working really hard here, okay? Be careful with scammers at this time as well, with the seven of swords. Be careful with that. Again, set, you know, be ca be cautious. I that's, I heard that for some um, you you are getting some justice upright. You're getting good karma come to you because you're doing things by the book. Okay. Um, this is a victory and a triumph as well. The Ace of Swords for you. You're doing things by the book. Paying attention to the details of things here. Again, I can't ignore the fact that we have been guided to look at the bigger picture of your situation as well. 
But whatever it is that you're doing here when it comes to your purpose, your career, whether you're starting your own business or starting a business but still looking for a, a side job or, or a job on the side that's going to help to supplement that, you're on track with that, taking those steps, okay? Can I have one of the seven of swords for the divine feminine, please, for Tuesday? I'm getting strategy, moving with silence. Don't tell anybody your stuff. Keep it to yourself right now, okay? Uh, seven, of, seven of swords. We have the page of pentacles. Whatever you're starting, whatever new thing you're starting, whatever strategy this is, Again, very strong, emphasized energy of you keeping it to yourself, okay? Uh, yeah, because you may have some people in your life that are not, that are going to work against you, that are not happy for you, that are not cheering you on, that are jealous, that are going to try to sabotage you and compromise you, people that are, you can't trust, okay? Uh, so very strong message about that. I'm also getting... Yeah, there, use your discernment and your intuition here, okay? There's somebody here that's very triggered by your light. Your light irritates their demons. Somebody in your life, I don't know if it's this masculine. They could be learning from you, actually. And because um, you see this, this king is looking at this earth angel and triggered. Triggered, heavily triggered. This could be anybody in your life, okay? You'll know who this is. Um, somebody may not have the right motives or the right intentions towards you. That's why your body, listen to your body, your body is your, one of your greatest guides. If your body tenses up, it doesn't feel right. You feel drained. You don't feel comfortable. This doesn't feel good, right? Uh, be cautious. Okay. Set those boundaries. Keep your guard up because that came out right after. Just put your head down. Lay low, stay focused on the things you're focused on. Immerse yourself in your purpose here. You guys could be signing a new contract, a new a new job contract. Um, tell me about this nine of wands. Actually, before we tell me about this nine of wands, give me one more on this uh, page of pentacles here. This could be you starting something new, like I said, or it could be an offer coming to you. Uh, you know, an invitation or an offer, somebody that wants to, somebody that may have been um, hiding or sneaking. Yeah, it's an offer coming to you. I'm, I'm strongly getting moving in silence with the seven of swords energy here, okay? When it comes to this new beginning. Because, you know, evil eye is very real and and sometimes i've noticed that i started to pay more attention to that i noticed that when i share any kind of news with certain people in my life um whether it's love news or anything uh it, it tends to it, it tends to uh block it from coming into my life like for example if i was to uh be excited, have some exciting news about this new person I'm talking to or this new person that I'm, that I got to know, that I'm getting to know or that I'm dating. And I'll tell certain people in my life that, um, it tends to like f fall through and not work out. So, um, and, and, and when I get the response from them, I hear it in their tone, the envy and the jealousy, I can feel the energy of that because they don't have that. And that's something they want. So, uh, be cautious about that, right? And, and and again, there's a reason why people don't talk about that they're pregnant within the first three months of something here. You're starting something new here, okay? Very strong message about that. Um, you're starting something new that is very dear, or or this could even be the start of a new relationship or the start of a new job. It's something big that has something to do with your material world, your, your prosperity, your abundance, your resources. Okay. It's something big here. It's brand new. Keep it to yourself. Uh, and again, not every offer that you get is, is one that you can trust. Like I said, watch out for scammers. 
trying to give you a quick this and that. Stay away from that is what I'm getting. Nine of Wands for the Divine Feminine. Yeah, so there's two paths ahead. There's paths opening up for you. Crossroads energy, a decision, okay? Could be a career decision or a decision in love. Things are turning around for you. Things are getting better. Tell me about this two of wands. Wands, energy, passion, and fire. Crossroads, energy, needing to release the past. Go towards the path that's least traveled. Okay? Paving your own way, I heard. Keep going because you're inspiring others. This nine of wands is saying... This nine of wands is saying, lead, you're a leader. You're carving out the way. You're paving the path forward and then for others, okay? Not the familiar path. It's brand new. I'm also getting, if this is love, this is somebody here that may trying to sneak back into your life they're strategizing their way back they could be spying on you uh and waiting for the the time here to come forward to you i'm getting they could be watching you as well two of wands and you're going to have a decision to make divine feminine two of wands here yeah as i said you're gonna have a decision to make choose wisely Okay, things are going to start moving really fast for you. You're going to have to really use your intuition for this. You have to rely on your intuition with all of these options, with all these opportunities that's coming your way. Listen to your body. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of different, uh, you know, one of these cups is the cup coming your way. A lot of communication or travel and movement, fast changes. And it feels to me like right now you're focused on your career. You're focused on building. But there's going to be an opportunity here for you to partner up with somebody, collaborate, teamwork, partnership and alliances. The universe is sending you help, is sending you resources. Yeah, you're going to be partnering up with somebody. Two of Cups. Destined and fated to happen this way. Trust the universe. Let go of the wheel. Don't micromanage the wheel. Let the universe, you know, uh, lead the way, right? A, a God do God things here. Um, but again, there is an opportunity here coming in. You're going to have to make a decision. Take your time with this decision, okay? You're getting help is what I'm saying to get you out of this uh, ongoing battle that you're, that you're having. Partnering up, it's time to collaborate. And it could be this offer here, okay? But I feel like there is some skepticism. You don't know if you can trust it. But anybody that tries to deceive you is going to get karma right away. With justice here being on your side, justice is on your side, okay? Let me get... Um... So it looks to me like both of you guys are right now are really focused on your material world, on your pentacle world. We got earth for you here, Capricorn. Earth for them here, Taurus. They may have lost some money as they've gone through this change, this relationship change. Wow. We ended with you on the Seven of Cups. We ended with them on the Seven of Cups. So there's mirroring here, okay? Until you both... Okay. Until both of you guys have your resources, your abundance, your stability, your security, it's all connected. Your root chakra, your abundance wound healed, and you guys are stable financially, and, and you, you have the security and, and the physical independence and the emotional independence first, and whole, feel whole and complete first. There is no coming together until that's right. It looks like this person is on the path to that. You're on the path to that. You both got Ace of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, making important life decisions for yourselves right now, okay? I feel like right now your focus is on, on, on coming into harmony and balance within yourself and um, 
focusing on your career, on your finances, on your security and your stability. Dem yeah, coming into some, yeah, spiritual career. I can't make this stuff up. It's manifestation and self-love. Focusing on the self. Exactly. Not focusing on what anyone else is doing here, okay? Manifesting. Then we see that here with this uh, power. Using your, your the moon, you know, the cycles of the moon to manifest, trust, having faith. But it's like, this is going to come about for you when you come into harmony and balance the yin and the yang within yourself. Some of you guys could be, you know creating a good domestic harmony and balance in your home life, home and career balancing out spiritual career for a lot of you guys are stepping into your purpose, focused on that. Okay. And manifestation here, it, you know, standing in your independence, in your own individuality, in your own autonomy. Show me uh, the divine feminine energy here, spirit, please. Nature, go spend time in nature. to ground. Oh, wow. I just, my right ear, holy Moses, my, my right ear just started to ring really badly. I mean, really strongly. Okay. So you could be hearing clear audience, your, your psychic abilities are again, I was guided yesterday to go spend time in nature, go spend time in nature. Okay. If you live in an area where it's really hot, like I do, Texas, uh, there's early in the morning or when the sun goes down, okay, that you can go spend time in nature. Getting that very strongly. There's a lot of creative ideas that come other nature. Surrender. Right here, nine of, this is perseverance with the nine of wands. Don't give up, okay? Because a path is opening up for you. Uh, uh, lots of opportunities coming your way. Okay, but you're being guided to let go of the wheel. Like I said earlier, just have patience, trust, and surrender right now and keep going. Okay, uh, Divine Feminine, keep going. Let me get you guys a quantum message. Focusing on self. Once the, this is taken care of, once you've done that, can I have one here for the Divine Mat? Look, playing it safe, the Divine Masculine. Can I have one for the Divine Masculine's energy here? Spirit, a guidance message of the Divine Masculine. Deserving. Yes. Yes. Consciousness of deserving. I'm telling you, they're changing. Their consciousness uh, is, is shifting here. Okay. They're, they're, they're having a consciousness shift. They're coming out of victim mentality. And raising their vibration. Didn't I say that with this nine of cups to feeling deserving and worthy and gratitude and abundance. Okay. They're shifting. They're going through their awakening. They're shifting their consciousness to the consciousness of deserving. That's beautiful. Coming out of victim, they're getting a lot of help. Yeah, didn't I say coming out of the status quo? No longer interested in anything, you know, that is superficial, materialistic. This person is going through a massive awakening right now. I'm going to read this. Uh, consciousness. And then I'll pull one for you, Divine Feminine. Uh, for them, for the quantum deck, 50. Yeah, their, their consciousness is your true. This has been what they have been healing coming out of settling, right? Right here. This was them not feeling worthy, not feeling deserving in this relationship that they were in. The relationship probably... They didn't feel appreciated in that relationship. All their needs were not met. This person that they were with probably criticized them, blamed them a lot, told them, you know, in a lot of different ways that they weren't enough. It really messed with their psyche. You know, it, when you're with a narcissist for a long time, they can really chip away at your self-worth, self-esteem, and self-confidence. This person is working on coming out of that or feeling better about themselves. A woman stands in front of a, uh, this is, they have been working on healing worthiness and the good enough wound for a while now, family, right? A woman stands in front of a, a stately home, picking beautiful flowers and enjoying her lovely environment. She has a happy and fulfilling life and she knows she deserves all that she has attained. The outcomes you desire and deserve are about to line up for you. Yeah. Look, the wheel of fortune, their luck is turning around. So investigate your attitude and expectations. Uh, you can accelerate the timeline 
by affirming your readiness and worthiness to receive. This person focusing on self-love and focusing on themselves is changing everything for them. You've been longing for something to come to fruition. And in your mind, you know that you deserve it. But sometimes in your heart of hearts, you may not, you may not always be sure. It's time to really feel your worthiness and know that you deserve all of the great and good and good things that the universe has to offer. Whether it's love, a career, money, or healing, the world is ready to provide it. Yes, that's what we see here. Know that you are worthy to receive. So they're in receiving energy right now with this. Um, yeah, they received. <laughs> their life is finally getting back on track, okay? Which is really nice. They're coming out of this victim consciousness. Woe is me. Five of cups energy, right? Blaming everything, blaming everyone, blaming society, blaming their ex-partner, blaming themselves, you know, making excuses for oneself as to why I can't do this, can't do that. You know, they're coming out of that and um, feeling, starting to feel a lot better here, okay? They're coming, they're shifting their consciousness from victim mentality to worthiness and deserving. Beautiful. Can I have one for the divine feminine? And you're over here pushing hard, you know, to, to close out this, this ongoing battle that you've been having here, being more honest with yourself. Um, surrendering, surrendering more and more divine feminine. Okay. To these changes, the more you surrender, the, the faster this tough cycle closes out for you. Okay. Can I have one for the divine feminine here? Spirit, just, just one, please. Oh, look at you. <laughs> the honoring path intention, right? Uh, and then we have the consciousness of great gratitude of abundance. I, I did a, a, a beautiful gratitude list and affirmations when I was out in nature yesterday. So the consciousness of gratitude, okay, giving, getting what you deserve and you are worthy of as well. Let's read that. The honoring path. How beautiful. That's an intention. 101. The honoring, being recognized, being honored, respect and high regard. Yeah, receiving a lot of that. Respect and high regard, okay? People looking up to you, feeling inspired by you. A woman stands on stage. You guys could be an influence. You guys could be on stage. You could have a public platform as you, um, you know, start your spiritual career here. Before her, an audience applauds her shining presence. You're shining, you're radiating. On a purely practical level, this card indicates that you will soon be receiving positive recognition for something you've done. Wow. Or something you're about to do. On a deeper, more personal level, this card reveals a shift in others' attitudes as well as your own towards you. You are starting to see the best in yourself. And as your, as your self, and as your self-regard increases, others will see the best in you also. If someone treats you with disrespect, you now have the power to demand civility. In fact, the energy of self-honor is the only way to get the response from the universe you long for. So again, you're treating other, you're teaching others how to treat you by how you respect yourself and honor yourself. Okay. Uh, your self-respect has got to be stronger than your feelings and empathy even. So choose an increasing intention of self-respect in your thoughts and your behaviors. Such a powerful daily approach projects incredible dignity and authentic power. Two irresistible vibrations in the universe. So take a bow. <laughs> when you acknowledge yourself, the world acknowledges you back. Okay, taking the honoring path. You're being respected and, high, and, and you're in, in high regard, okay? So as you can see, this is how you know that this person here is your, you know, divine counterpart as you guys are mirroring each other, as you are ascending into this honoring path, into this self-respect, right? Um, they are as well on their end, okay? It's taken them a little while, but they're definitely catching up to you, okay? So... 
here we are, family. Uh, I'm going to leave it right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you. God bless you. And namaste. Mm -hmm. Till next time.